Go to the Tools panel of Photoshop and select the Ellipse tool. With that, go up here to the top left and select Shape option. You've got Path as well, you can use that. Also set a Fill and Stroke. Once you've done that, go down here to the Pen tool. See the Pen tool there? Now you may have modified the uh, tools, so it could be in a different position. Then go down to Add Anchor Point tool. Once you've done that, you'll see what happens. It becomes actually a direct selection tool. And so what you can do, you can just drag over that shape and you can then see all the anchor points. There's four, four anchor points for that circle. And what you can do with that, you can actually select individual ones there and you can see these. These are direction lines and this is a direction point. And this is the anchor point. And you can move it so you can reposition it. Now, what happens when you go over this bit, obviously the, where there's no anchor point, Actually, you can see a plus and you can click on it and that will add an additional anchor point there. So you've got that one, and you've got that one, and now you've got this one, this anchor point. And again, you can see when you go over it, hover over that bit, it will turn to a direct selection. And you can then move that and you can move it there. And you can move it and modify the shape in all kinds of ways. You also can use it and modify these as well, these direction points. You can click on those and change that using exactly the same tool. This is all still with the add anchor. And again, you can hover over there and add another point. Add there, add another point, and go around just anywhere where there is no point. As soon as there's a point, click that, and you've actually got the direct selection tool. Basically, you're using that to modify the actual path. You can move it around, but again, hover over here, and you will see a plus appear. Also, you can go Alt or Option key, and you can see then just goes to plus, or if you hover over there, over an actual existing point, it becomes a minus. So it's basically a delete anchor point feature. As soon as you hold down the alter option key. So just do that and you can see minus appear. And you click there and then it's removed. And again, you go over here and again, exactly the same. Now, if you hover anywhere else, it's still just a plus. We'll add. It's not going to delete it because there's nothing to delete. Also, there's another one as well. If you hold down the shift key, what you do, it click there, and then you can add this, and it will basically just be constrained, which you may or may not use. And again, you can do that, and it's at 45 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. So that's the add anchor point tool. Basically, the delete is exactly the same. Well, there's a little bit less functionality, but you can do the delete within the add because of you can hold down the alter option key. Like, it's that same, like there. So let's just go now to the delete. Delete anchor point tool. Now what happens, you hover over there and you can see you don't have to hold anything down. That's it, you just simply get that minus there and you click there and you can see you remove that anchor point. And I can click there, remove that anchor point, remove that anchor point and so on and so on. And you can create literally thousands of different shapes by using that. Now as you hover over there, you can see it's again exactly as it was before. It's just a direct selection tool. But as soon as you go over actually that point there, an anchor point, it will become a delete anchor point. So again, click there and you've got another shape. Click there and you've got another shape. Click there and so on. You can see what you can go through and create all kinds of different designs. So I'll just remove all that. Created a line. Once you've done that, go over here to add anchor point tool. With that becomes a direct selection tool. Basically you can select all the points and you can see it's just made up of two points, basic line. With that, just go over here and you can select so again, click there and move it, reposition it. Now, if you hover over this line, you can see as you go down there, a little plus appears, exactly the same as before. And you can click there, and you can click there. Now you've got other points here. These are obviously the direction points, just slightly makes it confusing because obviously they're the same color, but they're circular, whereas the anchor point is square. And you can just add another one there and so on, go all the way down. Now, if you accidentally just, like I did there, move it slightly, you'll see a like kink in that. Now, once you've done that, what you can do, again, hold down the alter option key and you can hover over that anchor point, not over these points, that makes no difference. But if you hover over the square, which is the anchor point, you can get a minus and you can click there and delete it. And again, do the exact same, so that deletes it as well. And again, other things like shift, all available as well. Also, what you can do, go over here to the delete option. Now, basically exactly the same. Again, go over any of these ones here with the there, the square, and it will become minus, and you can delete it. So click there, and again, there, and delete it again. And again, occasionally, will slowly move the line a bit. 
Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.